All right, I'm back with another retail rip. Got some uh, Tops 21, 2021 Series 1. I guess you call them jumbo packs. They're retail, 40 cars a pack. They say look for uh, autographs and relics inside. So I picked up three packs from Target's online website. They were, uh, I, really, I can't remember what I paid for them, but they were like, what, to maybe $10 a pack. Don't know what they're selling for on the secondary market. Could probably double my money on them, but that's not. I don't feel like doing it. Uh, picked up another box, a uh, hanger, hanger box of 2021 Donruss baseball. And then uh, and this this came from Target. This came from HotCardboard.com. And just for old time's sake, I picked up one pack of uh, NFL Pro Set Series 2. This is actually the first football cards I ever purchased back when I was a kid. I remember when these things came out. We traded them, bent them up, just just being kids, being kids with football cards. And then I got two packs of uh, 91 Upper Deck. And if I understood correctly, that could, Brett Favre has a rookie card in here. I mean, hey, that'd be cool to pull a Brett Favre rookie. And of course, picked up another pack of penny sleeves and another pack of top loaders. So, got all that from hotcardboard.com. Again, no sponsor of mine. No, like I got a sponsor, like I'm some type of famous person, but you know what I mean. I watch his YouTube channel. I mean, like I said, if I'm going to spend money online, it's going to be to someone like that that I, that I don't know, but he's not flipping like... I mean, these are ten dollars. I ain't gonna lie. You know, they're ten dollars in the store if you can find them. He's selling them for fourteen. So anytime I make an order like that from him, I try to at least get something. I don't know. I've been looking at some of his other stuff, you know, and I I, I might break down and buy a box of something, a couple hundred bucks. I don't know. It's getting hard to find product. If I sound a little different, I just got back from uh, Texas. I I flew over there. I've been gone for seven days. And every time I fly, when I get back, I just, I'm all clogged up and got a case of the wah wahs. You know, my head's just wah, 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 wah. And I feel like that for a couple of days, but it's all good. Of course, while I was out there, I checked a few spots and you can't find nothing. It's just, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's the way it is. So I'll get what I can get when I can get it. I was, when I found these on Target, I was like, wow, come on, you know. I mean, it, it is flagship 20, 20, 2021 Series 1, but there's some good rookie cars in there. And these jumbo, these jumbo packs, I mean, they're retail, but they're, they're better than blasters because blasters, you can't get anything in it. No autographs or anything. And from the videos I watched, people get like one gold card per hobby box and then if you get like a mega box or a hanger box you know you get better better chances of getting some stuff but got me a cup of coffee over here i was on a night shift over there i was in anna texas company that i'm a, a manager for we was started a remodel of the walmart in anna texas and it's it's a nighttime deal I mean, all I did was walk around and shake hands and kiss babies and make sure everybody was moving and grooving and, you know, made them laugh, made them feel good about themselves. And here I is back home in the great state of Louisiana. Uh, my LSU Tigers took game one in a series against Auburn last night over in the Plains. We fighting, we fighting for a uh, NCAA tournament berth. I don't think we could go very far in it, but to make it is is one thing, and uh, I hope we we can make it. Normally we host; we're one of you know the few schools that host a regional, super regional every year, but not this year, not this year. And then uh, on some other news, LSU, T.J. Finley, one of the quarterbacks that actually won a game last year for us. He's from my. Uh, where I live at, Ponce Tilly, he was a quarterback for the high school, but he just put his name in a transfer portal. 
And it uh, looks like he, uh, Florida and Texas A&M already talking to him. So he was recruited by those schools. He, uh, Nick Saban from Alabama, they recruited him. But, you know, most kids' dreams, uh, you grow up playing high school football in, in Louisiana, your dreams are to go to Death Valley and play in front of a sold-out crowd on Saturday night. And uh, and LSU puts people in the pros. I mean, Alabama puts more in the pros sometimes. Sometimes we do, but – the SEC in general puts players in the pros. But he transferred, but enough about that. But just ha- happy to be home, happy to get some product. Really don't feel like talking too much, you know. That's, that's odd. You know, the cat doesn't have my tongue. Just travel, airline, airports, airplanes, TSA. Like, I, I just don't understand how one airport, you know, Take your shoes off, take your belt off, take your watch off. You, boy, why you got that watch on, man? Don't you see the sign? I'm like, I don't know, sir. Sorry. Then you get to the next airport and you're taking your watch and your belt off. I'm like, are you an idiot? Why are you taking your belt and your shoes off? You know, same thing. One airport, take your laptop, cell phone, all electronic devices out your bag. The next airport, you go to do that, like, they look at you like you're a dummy. Like, why can't they all be the same? You know? On my, my return flight, a couple of weeks ago, I mean, they tripped out on me. I mean, they was grabbing my, my butt and everything, wanting to fill up my crotch, smell my hands, put the bomb smith sniffing dog on me. Like, I'm like, I ain't did nothing wrong, but whatever. That's just part of it. They going, this TSA, it's the world we live in. And it's, it's like mass chaos up in there, but traveling has just got me down in the dumps and I've been working, you know, the night shift, getting off at 6 in the morning and going to bed at 10. And I just, like I said, I ain't been home that long, ate a little bit, watched a little YouTube videos. And uh, I was going to go to bed, but I'm like, I- I'm just, I'm just going to drink some coffee, you know. I got to get a day off here and there. I got the weekend off finally, but they're about to ship me out again. But that's that's life. That's life. But um, I don't have my Bible in front of me. It's actually, I just pulled it out of my suitcase. It, it, it got a little destroyed up in my suitcase. They drop kicked it a few times. But it's it's been with me for a while, and it's going to stay with me. But I just, I just want to tell everybody, you know, it's the same message. That Jesus Christ was here on earth, and he died for our sins. He was risen from the, from the dead. He was resurrected. And we too will be resurrected if we believe in Christ and we walk the earth like Christ did and we love everybody like Christ did and we go out of our way to be more Christ-like and and let the Holy Spirit take over your heart and your life and your thoughts. And like that, what's that old saying? What would Jesus do? Live like Jesus, you know? Don't hate. Just love everybody. Help everybody. And repent from all your sins and get all those evil wicked lustful desires that 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 we all deal with and put them put your old self to death and when you do that you, you, your your life is going to be much better you're not going to worry you just and most importantly you're going to get to the kingdom of heaven jesus christ was here he was sent to earth to the, he was the, the prophets, you know. He was sent here to die for us. He knew he was going to die. You know, read your Bible. He, he knew he was going to die, but it, it needed to happen, and it did happen. And you need to believe in it and believe in Christ Jesus and make Him Lord of your life. Repent from your sins. Once you do that, everything else will start to fall into place. You won't curse. You just stop cursing. You'll stop gossiping. You'll stop thinking the way you're thinking. It ain't. It don't happen overnight. But when you walk with Jesus and you try to be as Christ-like as you can, I'm telling you, it gets easier and easier and easier. The devil will flee. He don't want you to be happy. He don't want you to find Christ. He doesn't want you to get into heaven. So the whole time on your journey, he's going to come at you with this everything under the sun to make you think otherwise but I encourage you change your way of living 
get to know Christ Jesus one-on-one, -on -one, talk to Him, study your Bible, repent from your sins, and everything else, I'm telling you, it, it'll be, it's a journey worth getting on. It's a journey you want to finish. Because tomorrow, tomorrow's never promised, but eternity is. Make sure you pick, pick, choose wisely, as I always like to say. But I love y'all. I love everybody. And I just want you to, I want you to find Jesus. I want you to search for his love, his kingdom, and, and see the difference in your life. And then you can make a difference in other people's lives. Most importantly, you'll get to the kingdom of heaven. So just think about that. Think about that. So let's get started. Let me take a swig of this good coffee. I've been drinking that hotel coffee. It just, it's like, come on, you know? And then in the air, where I was at, the line for Starbucks was backed up on the, you know, the, the cotton picking interstate. Like, who going to wait three hours for a cup of coffee? Not me. Then you go to the airport. This ain't nobody, Dunkin' Donut coffee. That, they, nobody there. You go to Starbucks, talking about an hour wait for an hour away for an overpriced cup of coffee. I ain't, I ain't judging. I ain't hating. You ain't. If you see me buying coffee at Starbucks, I'm probably gonna have on some skinny jeans and taking a selfie of myself with the cup. That ain't never gonna happen. If it does, and you see me wearing skinny jeans, drinking a cup of Starbucks coffee, please slap me upside the head. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Hmm. All right. I guess we'll start with the. The tops first, and then we'll get into the Don Russ, and then I don't. You say they say say the best for last. I don't know this. I mean, it's ninety one upper deck. The cars might be stuck together, but I'm real ready to open that. That's what I grew up on right there. That's nostalgia. If that's how you say that, I'm just tossing around. Might be a Barry Sanders rookie in there. I don't know. Well, let's see what we got. This tops twenty. 21 Series 1 Jumbo Packs. Pretty good. You come home and mailbox full of baseball, football cards. Thank, what, thankfully, nobody stole them. Got some Porch Pirates and Mailbox Pirates around here. All right, I can't really see the names looking through this camera, so uh, we'll, we'll try to make the best of it. Yeah, I really, I really can't see, so... I'm not gonna read the names out. I kinda know what the good cars look like, if that makes any sense. I'm only looking for autographs, relics, and rookie cards, so. I wanna get me a better camera. One day I might, one day I might, but I seriously doubt it. Yep. I'm just going to fly through them, to be honest with you. I'm only looking for rookie cards. I'll look at them later off camera. World Series. Who we got right there? I can't, I can't even read that. Lede Tavares. I, I'm still a rookie. I'm still a rookie filming this. So we got a numbered card. It's backwards. It's a gold card. And it is Eric Sagard. Never heard of him, but oh, there's a King Griffey Jr. throwback card. I like that. That's pretty cool. Garrett Cole, Clayton Kershaw. I guess I put them to the side. Christian Pache. That's one of the top rookies right there. He'll definitely get a sleeve. Miggy. Whoever that is. Flip them around. I said, I'm just looking for rookie cards. You've all seen like so much of this stuff. There's a rookie of Bo Burrows. Ain't that something, Bo Burrows? Joe Burrow and Burr Burrow. I know they're not related, but that's just kind of cool to me. There's a second year Bo Bichette. I mean, I'll definitely get him a little penny sleeve. Yeah, one day I might just break down and get me a camera. I say that, I don't said that so many times, but Buster Posey. 
I keep saying I'm gonna get out the hobby, but then again, am I really in the hobby? I guess there's two. There's so there's the, there's the hobby and there's the different sides of the hobby. Like you got the you got the you got the kids buying the the four thousand dollar box of cards. You know, and you got all the breakers buying all the four thousand dollar and ten thousand dollar box of cards. You got people doing the subscription boxes, and you got you got Joe Schmoes like me buying retail packs, cause that's all I really feel like spending money on. I don't know. I don't know. My retail collection is growing. I think last year I bought like three hobby packs. And I paid $16 a pack. And I was like, all right, that's it. That's it, man. You're not doing that no more. Man, that coffee was good. Go play some Hearthstone or Diablo 2 when I'm done. I need to get my boat ready to go fishing tomorrow. I just... So I just don't... I, I just, I'm all tired and groggy inside. I really don't feel like doing much. Get on out of here. Got that. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what's cracking and lagging up in here. Again, I'm not going to... I'm just looking for rookie cards and numbered cards and autographs and relics. Very exciting. I know. Very exciting. Flip them around. Yeah. Come on, give me a good rookie card. I need a Ryan Mountcastle. What is that? That is a home run challenge. That might turn into something. I don't know. Bryce Harper throwback. There's a Luis Robert. Here, get him a penny sleeve. Francisco Lindor. Where's all the rookies at? I ain't seen a single rookie in this pack. What they about to do? They about to get it on, huh? I guess. I ain't seen no rookie card. There's the first one. That's uh, Bobby Dalback. That's a good one. Where are the rookies? I guess you would get a couple of pack. I don't know. Like I said, I don't watch baseball. I haven't really been keeping up with it on Sports Center at all. Really haven't been doing much of anything but focusing on work. So it was one rookie card. Now I, th I thought you would at least get a rookie card, a couple of them in every pack, but that's the way the ball bounces. So we got one more left on the top. Give me some good rookie cards. Give me a relic. Give me something, something to talk about. Luke Volt, yeah, Voigt. I can't believe I can't see that through the camera. I mean, I can do that, but it's just not folks. And like I said, it's just, it's a new cell phone that my company just sent me. So and if you just heard my coffee burp, excuse me. Ain't not like a good coffee burp. Nick Nedbert rookie card. That is a Chadwick Trump rookie card. Never heard of him. Is that one of them fake autos or a real one? Yeah, that's a fake one. I wish that was a real one. <laughs> Aaron Judge, shit. Excuse my language. If that was an Aaron Judge autograph, I'd be like, what? eBay, come on now. That fools a lot of people. Too bad. Bryce Harper, Josh Donaldson. Uh, whoever. Can't see your face, man. There's a rookie. Who is it? Albert Abreu. I'll take it. Tarek Skabal, Charlie, Eloy Jimenez. I had, I put a bunch of his, uh, last year he had that rookie cup. I put a bunch of sleeves. 
I don't know much about the guy. I just I was just going off of what I read, and everybody else was saying he was a top talent. Spencer Howard. Devai Garcia. Yeah. Who's that, the Predator? Oh, that's Freddie Galvez. He got that Predator haircut. That guy right there. Ain't he gonna spin him around? Yeah, dude, I lied to you. There's a rookie cup of Tony Gonsolin and a rookie of Louis Patino. So there's our Tops product. Nothing really to write home about. I did get a, the, the Christian Pache rookie. So that, that and the Bobby Dalback rookie. I already got a uh, Ron Mountcastle rookie, but I just want to get a bunch of them. All right, let's get into this Don Russ. See what we can get out of here. I got nine minutes left. I, I think I can finish it up. If not, I'll see where we at at the distance. I might just open them football packs off camera. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Let's bust it up in the quadrants here. I said I can read Don Russ, Bogarts. That guy right there, Luis Roberts, second year. Here, get a sleeve. Didi, whatever, Gregorius, Jeff McNeil, Zach Wheeler, Alex Verdugo, Javier Baez, Kyle Hendricks, flip them around, Chris Bassett, Joey Votto, DJ LeMahieu, straight out of LSU. Whit Merrifield, Max, Jason Jambi, Shaoi Otani, Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt, Tim Anderson, Ichiro, Altuve, Lance Berkman, Big Meat Pete, Mark McGuire, the Bass Brother, Juan Soto, that guy, Jordan, second year. I got all these cards in my last hanger pack, but it's fine. Manny Machado, Stars and Stripes. I'm gonna get that in the sleeve. Here's our little hollows. Corbin Burns, U Darvish. Uh, Trevor Bauer. Hey, I like that. Nolan Ryan, that's nice. That's a nice one. Clark Schmidt rated rookie. I'll put it in the sleeve. Well, there goes a Mike Trout orange parallel. Can't complain when you catch a trout, right? Mike Trout orange parallel. I'll definitely put that in the sleeve and a top loader. It'll be worth a dollar next year. Maybe more than that. There's Shane Bieber with some sparkles on it. No numbers on there, but didn't he? What did he win last year? Did he win Cy Young? I don't know. I think he did. Don't don't quote me on that. Dominators, Charlie Blackman. I tell you the Donald's cars look they they look better than tops. Pico de Gallo. Okay, if that's what you say, man. Nolan Arenado, Ariado, whatever, Nolan I'm telling I can't pronounce all these names. There's a Bobby Dalback rated rookie. I'll take that. Jacob DeGrom. Brandon Lowe, Diamond King. Six Toast Sanchez. That's a good rookie card. I'll take it. Aaron Judge, All Rise. Babe Ruth. Fernando Tatis Jr., Diamond King. I'll put that. Jake Cronenworth rated rookie. Thank you very much. La Pantera. Is that a... Uh, What's that guy's name? Uh, is that Luis Robert? I don't think so. Let's see. I can't really tell. Yeah, it is Robert. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's Luis Robert with a name variation. I'll take that. Hey, there's another Mike Trout Diamond King. I'll put that in the Mike Trout collection. And then Shane Bieber regular car. Well, there you go.
Well, we got six minutes. Six minutes. You think I, I could probably rip through these upper decks in six minutes? They're probably all stuck together. Might, might not even better get them uh, open. <laughs> They've been sealed since 19... Good night. I'm, I'm going to give them a sniff. Oh, yeah, they smell like upper deck. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you didn't grow up opening upper deck, man. Upper deck, they had that smell to it. Call me weird if you want, but... All right, let's see. Ray Donaldson. EJ Jr. Every one of them going to split. Andre Triplett. Tippett. Trippett. They're in good shape, too. Kevin Mack. Mike Saxon. I saw that number four. I was like, uh, wrong team, wrong name. Andre Reed. I remember him. Didn't TLC girl burn his house down? Could be wrong. Collector's Choice. Eric Metcalf. Old checklist card. David Wyman. Derek Thomas, Calvin Williams, Shane, whatever, talking on the phone. And that was probably the Brett Favre. I've been in all up. Herman Moore talking on the phone. I used to like them talking on the phone cards. I go back and reminisce over these things and call me weird if you want. I give them a good sniff. I ain't no, I'm telling you. You sniffing a good pack of upper deck, man. I used to love to smell the pack of upper deck when you open. I'm gonna sniff this one too. It's gonna be, you know, you don't get to open this stuff all the time. It's, it's hard. I'm telling you, it's hard opening this, this this stuff. Good night. Off camera sniff. Oh yeah, brings back childhood memories. I'm telling you, say what you want to say. Randall McDaniel. Randall McDaniel. Hey, we get another one? Bro, Derek Thomas. Running out of time. Nick Lowry. Joey Brauner. Flash 80, Jerry Rice. I like that car. Andre Bruce. Reggie Cobb, Chris Spiel, Spielman, Speakman, Kevin Green, and Harvey Will. Oh, look at there. Look, my, 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 an LSU Tiger. I don't remember the guy, but that's pretty day. That made my day. I got two minutes left, so I'm not even going to get into the pro set, but hey, I'll take that rookie car, LSU Tiger. Man, I can't wait. We're doing the countdown. We'll be doing the 100-day countdown in a couple of weeks. Go check out dandydon.com for all your LSU news. Love me some LSU. Got me an LSU Tiger for the LSU Tiger collection. Don't know who you are, my man, but I'm I'm have to look you up now. And he went to the Kansas City Chiefs. I don't think there was anything back in the day. Well, there you have it. There's a... Got a mess of cars in front of me don't know who half of them is or was or were or will be but we're gonna sort through them off camera probably drink another cup of coffee probably sniff them a few more times and then finish out the day maybe with something good to eat and finally get to go to sleep and then get up and, and, and enjoy the weekend. I hope everybody watching this, if you're watching this on a Friday afternoon, hope you all enjoy your weekend. But I'm running out of time here. This video is about to hit the 30-minute mark, and anything over 30 minutes will be in a separate video, and I'm not an editor. Don't want to be an editor, so I'm going to end it right now. But remember, Christ Jesus was here. He was sent to the cross to die for your sins. He was put into the grave. And he was brought out of the grave and he ascended to heaven. And so can you. So can you. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life. Repent from your sins. Love yourself. Love your neighbor. Love God. Love everybody. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to. And go Tigers.